the comments how you did. If this was your first weight loss surgery, if your first, if this was your first Thanksgiving. Hi guys, this is everyone's favorite, a car vlog. It is the day after Thanksgiving, so Friday, Black Friday. A lot of people in a small location fighting over sales is want no part of that nonsense. Oh, I've got that post-holiday hair going on. Probably look a little crazy. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, uh, oh I'm obnoxious. I've got a... Ugh. I irritate myself on these videos because I feel like I'm so obnoxious. What are you going to do? students. So I'm going to use my stats from yesterday because um, I have not weighed myself today. It's the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah. So, so I'm going to use my stats from yesterday because I have not weighed myself today. It's the, I had vertical sleep gastrectomy March 5th, 2018 in New Lenox, Illinois with Dr. Brian Lehman. My high weight was 237. My weight the day of surgery was 216. Last week, I believe I was 170.4. This week, my Wednesday weigh-in was 169.0. It was 169 even. So I lost 1.4 pounds this week. It's okay. If you jump on the scale today or tomorrow and you're up a pound, two pounds, three pounds, five pounds, 10 pounds, who gives a shit, basically? It's, it's okay. It's okay. Is it great for you? No. Is it part of what you're trying to accomplish? No. It's a setback and it's temporary. That's the beauty of it is that all of this, it's all temporary. So you can fix it. If you're a little off track, just fix it. It's all fixable. Even if you haven't had weight loss surgery, it's fixable. You can do this at any point. A lot of us struggle to remember is that all is not lost if the scale has gone in the wrong direction. Regardless of how long it's been going in the wrong direction, at any point you can put a stop to it and, and change it. And I just wanted to let people know and remind, not that you don't know, but sometimes we forget that it's all temporary and it's all fixable and one day of eating what you want is not going to make or break your success in losing weight it didn't take you one day to gain the weight that you're trying to lose and you're not going to lose it in one day and one day is not going to ruin all the progress that you've made i try to think of it as like a scale balancing itself out. It's like, it's going to take us X amount of time to lose the weight that we're looking to lose. And it's not a pass or fail. It's sort of a, an open-ended equation because if we have a day where we have a setback or we have a week where we have a setback and we gain X amount of pounds back, it's just tilting the scale in one direction. It's not determining whether or not you're going to succeed or fail at weight loss. It's just adding a little bit to the length of time that it's going to take to succeed, if that makes sense. So I guess it's sort of like a, an interest-bearing loan, if you think about it. Uh, you've got this amount, and it's just like borrowing an amount of money. And interest accumulates and just like interest accumulates the time that it's going to take to lose this weight accumulates and the longer it takes you to pay back the loan the more interest accumulates well the longer you delay the weight loss by going off track or gaining a little bit or stalling it just adds to the amount of time that it's going to take for you to lose the weight it's not a pass or fail so i hope that me rambling um and as usual, delivering my metaphors 
uh, was helpful for you. I hope that everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I am in manic cleaning mode at my house today. I'm going to put up the Christmas tree. I did not decorate for Halloween this year, which is very unlike me. So I'm going to um, decorate for Christmas and hopefully I can get some of that done today, if not all of it, because I just think it would um, it'd be nice to have my, you know, my Christmas decorations up and get in the spirit because I, I feel literally like this year has flown by and it's, I think that's part of the reason I didn't decorate for Halloween is because I was just like, it cannot be Halloween already. But I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. I've been rambling for woo, 10 minutes. Yikes. Um, hope everybody had a wonderful holiday and I will see you next week.